this year is a difficult year to celebrate our patron saint, Saint George. But in keeping to the true Scout tradition, we are prepared and we promise to do our best to celebrate St. George's Day. So I welcome you all to our virtual St. George's Day Parade. As we gather online to celebrate St. George's brave struggle against the dragon, we would like to celebrate and thank all our brave St. George's in the community in the struggle against the coronavirus. To all the health professionals and key workers, many of whom are scouts who bravely and selflessly put themselves at risk, we loudly say thank you. And when this moment passes, then we must all continue to promise to do our best in our own lives and our roles in the community. Stay safe and God save the Queen. Hello and welcome to a very different St George's Day celebration. A big thank you to Mr Gordon Bruford for kicking off today's celebration and I'm now going to hand you over to Reverend Josh from St Giles's Church to talk about the story of St George. I've been thinking about St George's Day last year when we were sitting in the glorious sunshine just next to the Guildhall. Remember that? I bet none of us imagined that the next time St George's Day came around that we would all be doing it from our own homes. We've been stopped from doing something that many of us have spent months preparing for. Something's got in our way. And this something is a horrible disease. A monster. You might even call it a dragon. This dragon has stopped us all from doing the things we love. Stopped us all from meeting our friends and family. It's ruined our plans, ruined expectations, ruined lives. So, when faced with dragons, what better time to talk about St George? In the legend of St George and the dragon, the city of Silene in Libya is suffering because a dragon is devastating it. The city tries to give the dragon two sheep a day for food, but it's not enough. The dragon wants more. So they decide to give the dragon some human sacrifices instead, beginning with a king's own daughter. St George arrives and goes out to fight the dragon. He slays it with a lance. The king is so grateful that George saved his daughter that he gives George treasure as a reward. But George instead decides to give the treasure to the poor. In overcoming adversity, he was brave, determined, honourable and kind. In our country today, when the coronavirus dragon is devastating our world, there are many people everywhere, but especially in this country, especially the doctors and nurses in the NHS, who, like St George, are brave, determined, honourable and kind in overcoming this adversity. They don't care who people are, what they've done, how much money they've got. What matters is saving them from the coronavirus. Everyone is accepted. And that's the, the attitude that is helping them win this battle. In staying at home, we too are doing our part to slay that dragon. We are too are overcoming adversity. And we can do it. As long as we are brave, determined, honourable and kind, our adversity can be overcome. And even if more dragons come along after we've slayed the coronavirus dragon, those other dragons can be slayed too. Just keep on being like St George. In a few moments you'll be renewing your promises of what it means to be a scout. And when you make those promises, just remember, in being brave, 
in being determined, in being honourable and being kind, St George overcame adversity and slayed the dragon. We all, too, can overcome any dragons that come our way if we live a bit like him. Thank you very much, Reverend Josh. Next, we're going to move on to our first promise renewal, this one for the Beavers. Feel free to say it with the video. The words will appear on the screen. Thank you to everyone who sent in promise renewal videos. I'm sorry that we couldn't use them all. The promise renewal will be followed by messages from Aaron Bell, MP, and Ian Dudson, Lord Lieutenant for Staffordshire. I promise to do my best, to be kind and helpful, and to love God. As the Member of Parliament for Newcastle under Lyme, I'd like to wish all the local Scouts a very happy St George's Day. I know it's going to be a bit different this year, but I know also that everyone is still getting on with as much scouting as they possibly can in these difficult circumstances. I'd also like to pay tribute to all the Scout leaders and volunteers, many of whom I know are key workers, who've been arranging activities for the Scouts and making sure they continue to do their good turns every day and help other people. I know Scouts have been involved in all sorts of local activities, including getting shopping to vulnerable people. So I'm sorry we can't have the normal parade and everything this year. I'm looking forward to that next year, but I would like to wish you all a very happy St George's Day. Hello everyone. My name's Ian Dodson and I have the privilege of being Her Majesty the Queen's representative here in Staffordshire as Lord Lieutenant. I also have the privilege of being President of Scouting in Staffordshire and so I'm absolutely delighted to be able to send you this message as we celebrate St George's Day. Obviously we're all disappointed that we can't mark our patron saint's day in the usual manner with parades all around the county. Nevertheless, a virtual occasion such as this provides us with the opportunity of still reaffirming our Scout promise and, remind, and reminding ourselves of the Scout law. And although we can't meet, I'm well aware that large parts of the Scouting family are involved in fighting this pandemic, in supporting our communities, and indeed continuing to encourage our young people to remain active and to be true to their Scout promise. I'd like to take this opportunity of thanking each and every one of you for all that you are doing. I send you my very best wishes and these wishes are coupled with the hope, of course, that you all remain safe and healthy. Thank you. Thank you for those messages. Next, we're going to do our promise renewal for the Cubs, followed by a message from the Mayor of Newcastle and another very special guest. I promise that I will do my best to do my duty to God and to the Queen to help other people and to keep the Cub Scout law. Hello everyone, my name is Simon White and I am the Mayor of Newcastle under Lyne and also your President. To Baden Powell, St George demonstrated the qualities of selflessness and both moral and physical courage, which he saw as being among the aims of scouting all around the UK and also here in Newcastle. Um, Scouts are doing their best to help others, either as key workers, staying at home, volunteering, sewing scrubs for the hospitals or taking part in creative activities, are all helping to beat this awful coronavirus. Whilst you may miss seeing each other in person, it's amazing that you are coming together like this in a first ever virtual St George's Day. As President of Newcastle District Scouts, thank you to everyone who's helped make this possible and thank you to everyone who's keeping scouting alive today and helping to keep our town and country operating. Thank you all for keeping your promise to do your best and helping keeping people safe. Be safe, thank you. Hi guys, Dan Robson here from Wasp Rugby Club. To all those in the Newcastle district, be proud of what you do in scouting. Stay strong and keep working as a team.
we will overcome what's happening at the moment. Congratulations on doing this virtual St George's Day and don't forget to keep your scouts promise. Another massive thank you to both Simon White and Dan Robson for their messages. We're going to do the scout promise from you all next, so this is for any scouts, explorers or leaders. It will be followed by Malcolm Lysett, Honorary Vice President and former Castle Capers producer. On my honour, I promise I will do my best. To, to do my duty to God and to the Queen. To help other people and to keep the scout law. family of scouting it wasn't family of scouting it was first of all the brotherhood of scouting when you join the brotherhood of scouting and i remember writing it because i remember the when it went <laughs> somehow i just remembered all lang syne into the first cast of capers um, and it was a great success family scouting's gone on from there to probably nearly every gang show in the country um, but it all started with Casa capers and it was the best thing that i've ever done in my life Casa capers means so much to me my dad was the musical director when it first started and trevor royal produced the show and i i was his co-producer and then i took over after that I wish I could play as well as me dad. But the old photographs I've got here uh, bring back some lovely happy memories. I think that must have been the first one there. You see Dave Plant on the back row. He's as handsome now as he was then. Well, nearly. And then stacks of lovely photographs that tell so many different stories of so many lovely, lovely people that we met over the years. It was a great happy show. Everybody worked together for the benefit of the kids and we had lots and lots of fun together. Great times, Casa Capers. Jonathan Malcolm's son for playing that and also a massive thank you to all of our key workers the whole district really appreciates everything you're doing for us at the minute so a massive massive thank you to all of you next we're going to hand over to Vera who's going to finish off with some awards hello everybody happy St George's Day celebration St George's Day is actually the 23rd of April and not only is it the patron state of England uh, patron state of scouting it's always a special day in our family as it's my husband's birthday and he does get cross that uh, people don't always remember what date it is uh, and this year it's even more special because he's 60 this year so a belated happy birthday and 
I just really like to think, you know, 2020, I don't think it's a year that we'll ever forget. And as we remind ourselves of our promise and the Scout Law, we make a special point of thinking about our fellow Scouts and thanking them. I'd like to thank everyone in our district for doing their best in whatever way that is, for keeping scouting going, our ASU keeping in touch with people, to all our beavers, cubs, scouts, explorers and network for staying home, staying active and helping us all stay safe. For all our district who are key workers and everyone helping in their community locally or across the UK, a real special thank you. As some special thanks as well and congratulations and awards that would have been presented by uh, the Lord Lieutenant or the Mayor and we will get those awards to everyone but here's a list of some of them and hopefully as I read your names out um, your family will be clapping and cheering for you and congratulating you and if you can share any videos and photographs of this all happening and if all the young people watching and all the parents can you applaud and maybe even send a message of thanks to all the volunteer leaders um, for all their help and maybe record these as well it would mean so much to uh, all our volunteer leaders so stay well stay healthy and uh, really our family of scouting is very very special so here's that list but Freya Dulson a five-year award she's at Maidley Harry Bradford a five-year award St Giles Amy Holston five year from Holy Trinity Jill Wright five-year award at Audley Jared Whiting five-year award at Maidley Matt Williams another five-year award and that's at Silverdale Paul Beeston, five year again from Maidley. Simon Bromley, a five year award, and he's at St Giles. Andrew Turner, a 10 year award, and he's an explorer leader. Dave Marshall, 10 year award, Red Street Group Scout leader. Paula Mella, a 10 year award at Audley. Dan Hopwood, a 10 year award at Port Hill. Stephanie Everill, at NBC, a 10 year award. Richard Madden, a 15 year award at St Giles. Chris Barnes, a 15 year award at Edenhurst. Viv Bradford, 15 year award at St Giles. And these are some wood badges. Grace Edwards, a wood badge for explorers. Gavin Erdley, a wood badge for your group scout leader at St Wollstone's. Nick Wood, wood badge for ADC Communications, Chris Dunn a wood badge for Silverdale Cubs, Don Hickton a wood badge at Port Hill, Fiona Paskin a wood badge at Whitmore, Josh Pickles a wood badge for Explorers, James Cartledge a wood badge at Silverdale and a Amy Auckland a special commendation she's at Whitmore. And there's a couple of people I'd just like to mention, and that is uh, Jack Gray and his dad, Adam, and again, Nick Wood. They've been instrumental in being able to pull all this information together and um, make us our virtual St George's Day. We couldn't do it without you. Thanks, guys. Cheers, everybody.